Hey everybody, Ann here, and today I'd like to talk to you about how not to get scammed while being a YouTuber, or basically being on the internet. Here we go. First of all, I received this innocent looking email from YouTube support in my ProtonMail account. But once you open it, you'll see that mm, doesn't look so innocent, does it? I think we need to take a closer look at this to see what's really going on. So let's go ahead and read the text. Hello, Anne's Tiny Life. We received a complaint that there are many spam videos on your YouTube channel. But you don't have to worry. We'll review your channel by our YouTube team and we'll let you know by email. In the meantime, we recommend you not to upload new videos. Fill in the following information and reply to this email. Otherwise, if your channel is not reviewed by our YouTube team, your channel will be closed. Thank you for your patience in this process. They want me to send the channel URL, which YouTube would really have already. They want information about copyright, yes, no, my channel email, and my channel password. Hmm, like I'm going to send them that, right? And seriously, folks, if this was really a YouTube team member, they would already know my channel URL. They would already know if there was copyrighted material on the channel. They would already have my channel email and YouTube would never ask you for your password. This is clearly from a scammer wanting to get into my account. I guess this means I've arrived. Yes. <laughs> I'm like popular enough for someone to want to steal my channel. Phew. Interesting. Now let's take a look at the top part of the email, the headers. If you click on details, it'll drop down the actual address that the email is being sent from. And there are ways to spoof this. So, and there's also ways to look at more detailed headers, but I didn't need to because look at that email address, yodo.dmz at mail.ru. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think that's a real YouTube support email address. So it was very clear right from the very beginning that this is a, a fake YouTube account trying to get my information. So you really just need to kind of have common sense, people. I receive countless emails like this in my various email accounts and it's, you know, you always have to look a little bit further just because it says YT support, indicating that this is an email, an official email from YouTube support, that that's who it's really from. You have to click the details, look at the headers, make sure that you know what email address that's actually coming from. That's the first thing. And then, you know, the common sense comes in when they're asking you for information that the real entity, such as YouTube or whoever, would already know. And this should be suspicious. Everybody, you all need to be suspicious of these kinds of emails when you get them. Don't assume that just because they look official, they are actually official because many times they're not. It doesn't matter if it's an online money account like Bluebird, which I have. I've received many, many spoof emails for people trying to steal my account or Coinbase, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Amazon. You can be assured that there is a hacker out there somewhere wanting to get into your account either to steal money from you or to get your account shut down or to just put up some kind of stupid video just because they can. So you have to make sure you know who you're talking to. Click the details. Read the email address. Make sure it's from the official website that you're interacting with and don't be fooled. Then you'll want to follow your email instructions on how to report a phishing attempt. All I have to do is click the three little dots in the upper right hand corner. Then select report phishing and the email will automatically go in my spam box and my email provider will evaluate it so they can improve their filters. But whatever you do, just make sure you know who is actually sending you that email. It doesn't matter who it's from. They could say it's from your grandma or whatever. Look at the headers. Look at the actual email and use common sense. You know what? If they're going to ask you questions that they should already know, that the company should already know, or whoever it is that's sending you the email should already know, you should 
take that as a red flag that it is probably a phishing attempt and you just need to be careful. I've seen so many people lose their accounts, lose money, get messed with just because they didn't take the time to look a little bit deeper into the email to see if, hmm, is this fake? I don't know. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.